Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I'm Rob. <laughs> I love Rob. I'm excited for the inspiration for this song in the mix. Here's a little taste. This drug is actually kind of scary. And my inside or outside, I can't break it down. That's what I need. A song. I better start writing. It's that time of year. I'm gonna plant some seeds over here. I've got soil. I've got a tray. I've got soil in a tray and some seeds over here we're gonna plant plant some fucking seeds oh yeah enjoyed my music video and I know before you even say it my singing was probably the best singing you've ever heard in your life right I, I know I'm just kidding um, I wanted to make a funny music video and I went for it so I'll never have the angelic voice of Rob from seven pot club God bless him uh, he's talented he knows what he's doing um, and Rob if you ever see this video feel free to uh, cover it I'd love to hear your take on it of course without the one curse word it just felt right in the moment when I was uh, singing it uh, I did it in one shot actually I sat down turned on a song and just went with it so anyway uh, welcome to my 2021 seed starting um, I'm gonna walk you through what seeds I have and uh, it's gonna be interesting I'm gonna kind of quickly go through what I do um, and what other people might do and uh, let's get started Hi, yes, I have a lot of seeds. These were all actually harvested this past season in 2020. I have an abundance of seeds. I went a little crazy. I collected them all. I'm gonna be replanting some of these. Uh, some of these I already still have as overwinter plants in the basement. Um, but if you'd like to take part and have any of my seeds from my collection, I will have them available on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna be doing super hot party packs with an assortment of random super hot peppers uh, they all should pretty much be heirloom and uh, you might have you know 15 20 seeds per pack and uh, the varieties are there might be 30 so if you're interested in that because this isn't all I have I have bags and bags and bags of seeds stop by my Instagram at the underscore mighty underscore mustache on Instagram and send me a message it'd be nice to chat with a fan of the channel and um, maybe uh, sell you a few seeds. So all kinds of stuff available and um, I'm gonna have the full list up there shortly as well. So not just the party packs, I will have individuals including my orange bleeder which is a plant that comes in with purple stems, purple leaves. The pods come in purple, turn green, then turn light orange, then turn dark orange, and they also bleed up the stem. 
and they're about two to three inches long and they're extremely spicy and I haven't seen any around like that so kind of special so swing on by Instagram and besides my seeds guys big shout out to Jimmy Pickles all kinds of seeds available I've got Prima Tallies uh, I got seven pot infinities and these should all be isolated he does this all on his own um, Chili Mancer introduced me to the to him basically uh, he talked about him a lot on his channel I found out about him I ordered some seeds and literally within two days these showed up so check him out too he's got a lot of cool stuff a lot of cool seeds available okay so a few things that I like to have on hand when I'm doing this uh, one is gloves keeps my hands clean when I'm messing with the soil and putting it into the tray two prevents my skin from contacting the seeds because seeds do uh, carry some of that oil with them from the peppers and that residue can get into your eyes your private parts places that you don't want you trust me believe me I've found out the hard way uh, we also have a 50 cell tray you can start out smaller than this I'm doing a lot and we also have seed starting mix um, it's better than your typical potting mix because the blend one two it's a finer blend three it doesn't contain all little sticks and debris like a basic potting mix would so it's easier for the seeds to sprout there's nothing in the way you don't find like pieces of bark in there and whatnot so that's what we're using and we're ready to take this outside and fill up the tray with some soil uh, let's go do that and I'll show you everything else that I'll be using after I get the seeds planted so let's rock and roll all right so we got our mix I'm just gonna rip a hole in the bag and basically just kind of pour it all over the tray it does have a little bit of debris in it but it's a lot finer than the other stuff I use the other stuff I had is a lot chunkier bigger sticks and stuff so this is actually pretty nice so we're just gonna basically maneuver this around until our cells are full make sure we don't want to compact them too much. We need some space for the seeds. Now I like to pre-moisten my soil before I uh, actually put the seeds in it because I do not want stuff floating up and the seeds getting lost as I water it. So I'm just going to start outside and kind of, you can already see there's some particulate. ready to go inside okay so real quick before we start I won't be using scarification um, if you don't know what that is it's uh, uh no it's not it's not that uh, scarification is basically using like um, green tea or tea or anything acidic to help break down the seeds outer shell uh, and to help it germinate more quickly I typically don't use that you can there's nothing wrong with it I just don't I'm kind of impatient so I just throw them in and uh, hope for the best but still usually without even doing that I have a 90% germination rate so we're not gonna do that I'm gonna have this fancy chart that I made up I'm also gonna label which side of the tray is the front because I don't want to forget and have it mixed up and uh, let's get started I'm gonna show you how to plant one cell and then I'm gonna speed through it and also save time I'll be putting all the seeds that I'm planting on the screen as we go okay so basically what we're gonna do is take a chopstick a toothpick whatever you have on hand we're gonna make depending on how many you're gonna put per cell I'm doing three so I'm gonna put a little quarter inch hole there nothing crazy I'm gonna put one over here and I'm gonna put one right here and I'm gonna take three seeds we're gonna be doing the Maruga Scorpion X seven pot Dougla right there. We're going to put three seeds in and um, like I said, the moist soil makes it a lot easier to maneuver the soil. And once you have them in, they're in. So I'm just going to take our stick there, push that down a little bit, push that down a little bit. 
You don't want to go too deep because you need these things to just come right up. Oops, I think I put two in there. All right, well, you know what we'll do? We'll take that guy out. We'll make another little hole over here. Because I uh, separate these as they grow. So basically, if I get a few of them, I'll try to separate them before the roots dangle. And I'll usually pick the two strongest out of the three that I do. So basically, you don't want to pack that down too hard, just lightly. And like now they're, they're about a quarter inch from the top. Once they get warm, they're going to go looking for light. They're going to pop through. Okay, so that's one down. And as I was saying, once they pop through, we'll have a light ready for them. Um, but that's down the road. So let's get the rest of these planted. I'm going to set you up for a time lapse, and we're just going to speed through this whole tray. Oh man, you know what time it is when I get to planting my seeds. I get every lady in a five block radius pregnant, man. Oh man, I'm just kidding though. Check out all these fancy seeds I'm planting this season. And if you haven't already, click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to click them because it helps my self-esteem, man. Helps me create more great content for you. All right now, enough of this sexy ass voice. Back to the show. All right, so that was what, 30 seconds of footage. Probably took me about an hour to plant all those. I have the final list. Hopefully you can see this not in a mirror image. That, that's the final list. I actually probably put them up while I was planting so you could see what I was doing. I also took one of my stickers, my challenge stickers, and marked the front so I know where the front is and I don't get them confused especially when transplanting because then things will be one big mess um, I won't know <laughs> what's what and that's the worst thing that can happen mark your seedlings mark your your cups or pots whatever you move them into mark your big pots be organized that way you're not you know expecting one thing to be one thing and it's not and also you also know if you planted a seed you know exactly what you planted and if you didn't get the right thing you know something was wrong you got the wrong seed or whatever so let's get this over to where they're gonna be germinating I'll show you what I'm gonna do real quick with that so let's take a trip over to where my setup is okay so I've got a basic heating mat here I've programmed it I have it on one of these guys this basically will set the temperature it'll warm it up to that temperature and then shut off when it reaches that temperature and then kind of shut off and turn on to sustain that temperature. Um, right now I have mine set to, uh, let me see if I can, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's optimal, I think, for super hots, which is a majority of what I'm growing. So I'm going to bring over my tray. I'm going to put a little bit of water into the bottom of the tray. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then uh, we'll get the dome on and go from there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of moisture in here into the track down here. That's just basically gonna add to the humidity. It's not really gonna keep the seeds too moist. The soil's already moist enough, so I'm gonna get that in there. And as you can see, my heating mat is just the right size and it's still warming. So let's get the tray in here and the dome on, then we'll drop the thermometer in and we're good to go. All right, and there you have it. I've got my tray inside here. I ran my thermometer inside and stuck it right there and that's linked to the little guy over here which is gonna i don't know if you can see it is going to keep that at a nice 86 degrees fahrenheit it's going to warm the water at the bottom it's going to uh, cause humidity this is start to you should start to see condensation inside here i've got the vents only at like a quarter right now I do not have a humidity gauge in here. I will be getting one, but I think I'm safe at about quarter to half open to keep that humidity in uh, with a, such a large dome. So we'll know when it's working soon. Um, but everything is looking good. The soil is moist enough. I do have a light, which I will be hanging from here, but that's not necessary in the beginning unless you're not getting enough warmth inside. So if your heating mat is not keeping it warm enough, you can add the light and that'll help warm it up some more. Um, but I don't think I'll need that just yet. So, but as soon as I start to see 
little shoots come through and I, I know that they've germinated and they're starting to pop through, then at that time I will definitely add the light because they're gonna need all the energy they can get. Um, and if you don't get the light in there at the correct time, they will get all lanky, they'll fall over, you just won't have healthy plants. So they expend all the energy they have when they pop through the soil and look for light. So if it's not there for them, you get the picture. So what we'll do is we'll wait until we see the first signs of germination, add the light, and then they'll all start to pop up and then eventually we'll transplant them into individual cups. So it's gonna be a lot of cups. There's three per cell, I'll probably pick two per cell. So we're looking at about a hundred plants, maybe more depending on what I select. So yes. All right, so we're gonna check back in on this in a couple of weeks, probably a week or two from now. If everything goes right and these seeds are pretty fresh, they, so, they should start to germinate within a week or so, maybe two weeks. Um, most people will tell you between a week and 30 days. Uh, it depends. If you're hitting close to 30 days, there's a good chance that those seeds might not germinate. So. All right, everybody, that about wraps it up. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, a tremendous amount of work goes into this between filming, editing, thought process, all, you name it, it all goes into it. It takes a lot of time, so if you could take the time just to simply click that subscribe button, that like button, that will help me out greatly. Uh, the more subscribers I have, the more power it gives me to do even better things. So thank you for that if you just did. And uh, I hope to see you in a couple of weeks when I update you on my seeds and their germination as well as the rest of the summer that we have ahead in spring. I'll be growing so many things. There's going to be so many peppers. It's going to be amazing. Uh, big shout out to the pod people. They're my family. You can find them on Instagram. You can find them on Facebook. Uh, just look at official pod people or pod people on Facebook. Donnie the Chili Mancer, brother to me. He's on, on here on YouTube. You can look him up by name. Watch Wade Eat, Hot Sauce Mike, Capsaicin Colt, just to name a few. Uh, can't forget Chilipino, the Mighty Eagle. She's on here as well. Um, so I'll try to put some links for them down below. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. As usual, have a great day. Have a great night. Whatever time it is, have a great one.